Oh, we might be about to land our first client. Wow, wow, oh snap. So, Ryan DeBrosi, the guy we talked to yesterday. He's interested, he wants to talk more today, but he's a little hesitant. He talked to some other guy. The other guy said he would do it for 500 bucks. Uh, and I said $1,500, so he doesn't know what the value is. I did literally everything I could. I said, look, I'll give you better results. I'll give you a money back guarantee if you don't get results. I'll give you your money back <sighs> even if, if you don't get good results and I'm wasting your time. I'll give you an extra $100 just for wasting your time. All that stuff. And he still wasn't able to make a decision. I thought that all that was good enough to make a valid decision because it's no risk to him if he loses. Because if he loses, I lose, so whatever. But I just sent him my agreement. We're like, uh, this is what I can do. And we'll see if he says yes or no. So yeah, I was gonna keep doing a handstand until uh, he said yes, but my head already hurts. So, all right, he just texted me back. I will give you $600 down. I would like our terms and agreement emailed to me. That way I have a document. I have absolutely no problem leaving you a review after the end of six weeks. As far as referrals, I have several other business owners. I can drop your name and tell them about my experience working with you, but no guarantees those three will jump on board. Woo, let's go. Let's go. First client. Now the only thing about this is $600 down, I'm not making any money because I have to pay the media buyer $600 to run the ads. So basically, um, I just, gave him like the least basically that I could possibly get out of him just to give to the media buyer. So I'm not making any money, but this is so that next month we can reevaluate and we could say like, um, okay, let's do $1,500 a month because it was worth it, right? For the first month. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna send him the onboarding email, the agreement and invoice. So once he gets that paid, I can get him onboarded and start moving forward. Let's go. First client in the door. But I just sent him the invoice, but he said he's not gonna pay until he has the agreement. So now I have to fix my agreement because the agreement is usually for three months for $2,000, but obviously this is different. So I'm gonna have to like uh, edit some things within the agreement, put it on DocuSign, and then send over the document to him. And then he signs that and then pays, so. Let's just do that. The invoice has been paid. Let's go. Now we just gotta figure out how to do this. Basically, I have a call set up with the media buyer at about 1.30 um, so that we can go over basically how we're gonna do this. Today I want to post on Facebook on a um, pest control professionals group. So my question on this group would be, hardest part about having your own pest control business? These questions aren't supposed to be like salesy or like I'm, I can't post anything that's like trying to sell something. So I just have to like, you know, uh, get my foot in the door with like random questions. So yeah, let's just see how this post does. And then um, we can go from there, see if like it turns it to any, any leads. If not, at least hopefully if people comment, um, we can just get a better understanding of uh, people's businesses and understanding how we can help them. It's a big day for you. Yeah, okay. right? You've landed your first client. Uh, yeah. Hopefully there will be many more to come. Uh, so uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow then, okay? Yep, yeah, for sure. All right, see you then. All right, thank you. <sighs> Cool. Now I just have to I have to get this other guy on the call and then make sure our expectations are clear. Uh, and then we'll have our first client up and running, hopefully by the end of tomorrow. All right, I wasn't able to get on a call with the client because he was doing something at the moment. So I had to send him this long email about uh, basically what the expectations are within the first four weeks. Basically the first two weeks are us doing um, some testing the next two weeks are us uh, creating campaigns and optimizing expectations and what he needs to do uh, so that we can move forward. I also had to create this uh, logo. I just created that in like five minutes and then I had to buy a domain. So I just bought this domain, KFox Agency, um, kfox.agency. That was like $3, which was nice. So yeah, I had to do all that um, so that when the white label service, basically the media buyer, the guy that's actually running the ads, he sends an onboarding email to Ryan saying like, hey, let's um, get started. It looks like it's coming from me. So it's got like my website address, uh, my logo, my name. So it's not like just some random uh, email or a form. So that's the goal with that. A lot done today, I guess. Um, it's five o'clock now. We got our first client. We did it. It was all thanks to you. 
I love you. Uh, so Pastor just texted me a few minutes ago and, and asked me if I could be there by six to do a video with you. Mm-hmm. If, if, right. you, if you can't do it today, that's fine. But uh, yeah, we'll, we can just figure it out. Yeah. Get it. Yeah, yeah, sounds good, man. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. See you. All right, see ya. Bye. Bye. Uh, yeah, I gotta go make some videos. <laughs> hey, Lifeway, I'm excited. Next Sunday. Lifeway, thank you so much for your support. <laughs> Okay, back home. So that post I did earlier today on Facebook about what's your biggest problem with your business, I think that's what it was. One of the main answers was employees. So people having problem with employees. And I already noticed this a lot. So I'm gonna make a note to do something about that maybe later on down the road. Maybe like creating some sort of training on helping people find good employees uh, since that's a problem that a lot of people are having. Finding good employees and getting them motivated. So maybe helping people create like a system to keeping people motivated and actually getting them like, uh, you know, motivated and wanting to do uh, go above and beyond in their work. Because I mean, there's there's a way to do that. You know, you can't just uh, give people $10 an hour and then expect them to make, you know, Subway sandwiches or something and expect them to be like super happy, enthusiastic about their job and they love their life because they're making Subway sandwiches. You know, you have to give them a reason to like what they're doing. Helping people, especially pest control companies, helping them find good employees. I know this was a problem across the board when I was doing the market outreach uh, in general. So people that were in uh, in the tree service space and also in the uh, car repair shop space, people that were like having trouble finding good employees. So maybe making a service that helps people get better like employees for these service-based jobs, like a website or something, or I'm um, creating a training that helps people get employees that are motivated and how to pay them, how to structure their pay and basically, you know, how to do it to keep them motivated. I think that'd be something interesting to figure out. Anyways, that's gonna be end of, end of today. Um, really successful day today, but we still have a long way to go. Um, by the end of the six weeks, like I said, I wanted to have something uh, to show for when I get back from Fresno. And we already have something to show for, which is cool, but I still need more than that. I still need more than $600 and I'm not even getting paid out of it, you know, but it's a foot in the door. It's something and that means it's sort of working. I want to have at least three clients now by the end of uh, the six weeks. Okay, so I think that's a realistic goal. I think that's um, it's timely, it's realistic, it's doable, it's specific. So that's my goal. And then hopefully with all three clients, uh, $1,500 to $2,000, a retainer for each client. So three clients at two, at $1,500, that's three, that's $4,500 a month. Hopefully we can get there. Uh, <laughs> the goal was 10K at the end of January. I'll still shoot for that. I'll still do whatever I can to get that. From there, once we have three clients, then we have a proof of concept. That means people are actually willing to buy this thing and then, that it works. So once we have three clients, then we can go into more of like building the brand. So by that, I mean um, getting a website, start making content for the brand, start you know running ads for the brand to get me more clients and you know, just building it up as like this separate entity other than just myself. So that's what we need next, three clients. Um, and hopefully to keep this client on board and to you know get him really good results. Tomorrow we'll basically be onboarding this new client, um, getting him set up. There's some things that aren't working so I just have to figure those things out. And yeah, I'll figure some stuff out tomorrow. Stay tuned, I'm going to Fresno soon. I love you uh, and I'll see you in the next video.